Hey Internet, this is Mia. I'm just doing a quick blog update. I was going to do this earlier in the week, but then I consolidated more of my anime collection and I figured I'd show you guys. So I've been spring, spring cleaning and I decided to put all my anime together. And this is normally the little pretty decent sized cabinet that my anime goes in. However, I have outgrown it during the spring cleaning, so I've had to put some stuff on top. I have a variety of anime. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering, these are my perfect collections right here. Um, they range from such favorites as Armitage, Blue Sea, Over to Boogie Pop Phantom, Devon Yoko. That was things really good. This Nightwalker, um, if you like vampires, I'd really recommend that one. That's an interesting take on vampires. The Adam Coil, Shamanic Pencil, Shine of Mist. And my two Vampire 100D, Vampire 100D Bloodlust and Vampire 100D Regular Special Edition. Um, in here are all my like collections and everything. I have uh, Ai, Yori, Ai, Ai Oishi, DNA Angel, Rain, um, and the entire season of Chobits. Number 8 is somewhere, I swear. No, no, number seven is the last one. What am I thinking? Um, Macross. I have all of the Blue Gender series. Magic Knight Rare 2, Season 2. Um, don't have Season 1 for some weird reason. Pre-Tier, which is a really cute one. I'd really recommend it. Um, it's a reverse harem style. It has all these cute boys in it. Gotha Rock U, which is like a science fiction type. Um, all of Excel Saga. That's just hilarious. Um, Completely random. Makes no sense whatsoever. Has absolutely nothing going on with it. Uh, basically, Excel and her cohorts are trying to take over a town because that's the easiest thing to do when you're attempting to take over the world. Whoops, I just dropped a bunch of empty blank CD cases. Um, weird reason why I have those. I'm not getting into it. I have Wild Arms. I'm missing Volume 1 for some weird reason. I have all of the Sayuki series. That's a really good series. Um, for boys or for girls. So you give Reloaded, which I'm collecting as well. Samurai Deeper Kyo is awesome. Kitty Creed is really cute. I'm still watching this one. This one is a very good series. It's called X. It's by Clamp. Let me take off the top. Um, X is in the special limited edition black case. Um, X is basically the story about this guy who discovers that he is the key to the world either being uh, saved or destroyed. It's very dark. Um, they did a movie where they basically took scenes from the entire X series, which is eight volumes long, and they compiled it into one movie, and the movie makes no sense. So if you've ever seen X the movie, it's crap. I recommend watching the anime season instead. Voices of a Distant Star. This is like, one of the sweetest love stories you can ever see. This girl goes into the military in outer space and because of the law of physics, she's traveling so quickly and she's sending text messages back to her boyfriend on Earth. And um, it's about her telling him about her adventures in the military as he's aging faster than her because he's on planet Earth and she's steadily traveling farther and farther into outer space. It's it's very sweet and very melancholic, but I love it to death. Halo Legends. Um, yes, I have this in my anime collection. This is a very good anthology, seven stories from the Halo universe. I'd recommend it for any Halo fans out there. Um, down here, I have some other random ones. I have, like, Revolutionary Girl Utena, which is kind of okay. Um, it's decent. I like it. I have... Chrono Crusade, that's an amazing series. I recommend that one. I have some weird random one shots here. Um, some Daydreamers, I haven't seen this yet. Uh, Soul Hunter is pretty good as well. That's a story about, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Basically, a guy tries to save his kingdom from evil chick who has hypnotized the queen kind of thing. Um, these I haven't seen yet. They're all, they're all still sealed in the plastic wrap, case closed. A friend told me they were really good, so I picked them up. If she has liked me, I will be very disappointed. Miyuki Chan in Wonderland is a very cute one-shot by Clamp. Uh, I have a Clamp fetish, obviously evidenced by Chobits and X. 
Yuki Chan Wonderland, Magic Knight Ray Earth. I love my, I love me some, uh, some clamp. Um, and then over here are some random ones that are left over. Uh, these are my Disney collection is in here as well. Fantasia, uh, Twelve Kingdoms, Banner of the Stars, Crest of the Stars, Final Fantasy the Spirits Within. I also have Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I have two different copies of that. I have the special uh, two-disc edition, and then I have the collector's edition that came in a nifty box. Um, then these three are amazing. If you don't have them in your anime collection, get them. Howl's Moving Castle, Kiki, Silvery, Surface, and Spirited Away. They're all done by Miyazaki. This man is an animating genius. Um, Howl's Moving Castle is one of the sweetest love stories I've ever seen. Uh, it's super cute. Definitely recommend it. Um, and if you don't like it, I don't know what to say to you. Um, I'm just kidding. But Last Unicorn's also a really stupid one that I like from an American standpoint. All of the music is done by the Americas. Um, this was a little bit longer than I expected or wanted, though. I just wanted to give you some insight into all the damn anime I have. Um, yeah, up there, too. I know them. But I guess that's it for now. Just wanted to let you know what was going on. I'm doing this mess of spring cleaning, so I should be coming around with random things. Um, let me know what your favorite anime is. Uh, out of my collection, what did you see that caught your eye? And that's it. This is Mia, and I'm out.